2011 brought a new set of challenges to the auto industry. Despite economic uncertainty, dealers started the year with a sense of confidence as the industry started to recover. But almost immediately, a series of natural disasters caught everyone by surprise. An earthquake and tsunami in Japan, hurricanes and tornadoes in the U.S. and flooding in Thailand caused serious, widespread destruction and disruptions in production for virtually every OEM. Dealers had a hard time getting the products consumers were looking for. I mean, some of these manufacturers just had a double or triple whammy. It's been very, very difficult for them. In the meantime, dealers and NADA tackled several other significant developments. The Federal Trade Commission invited NADA to participate in a series of public roundtable meetings to examine whether the current laws governing dealer-assisted financing sufficiently protect consumers. NADA welcomed the opportunity to explain to the FTC the extraordinary benefits of dealer-assisted financing and to rebut the misinformation put forth by some consumer advocacy groups. To help dealers and manufacturers evaluate OEM facility image programs, NADA commissioned an objective, fact-based study to address dealers' concerns. Most of this year, it's been about the image facility programs. I don't speak anywhere that that's not the first question out of the shoot. What is NADA doing about the image programs? And NADA kept asking the tough questions about the federal government proposed fuel economy standards of 54.5 miles per gallon by the year 2025. NADA supports continuous fuel economy improvements, but points out that adding thousands of dollars to the average cost of a car would price millions of Americans out of the market, which would reduce fleet turnover and delay the very environmental gains the administration wants to achieve. There were bright spots, too, as NADA kept busy helping others. Hours after the devastating earthquake and tsunami, NADA launched the Japan Relief Campaign in conjunction with the American Red Cross. The foundation also assisted dealership employees whose homes and communities were devastated by tornadoes and flooding in the south. Retired Army Sergeant Sam Silla was the first recipient of a trained service dog from the NADA Foundation through a partnership with the Wounded Veterans Initiative of Canine Companions for Independence. NADA promoted child passenger safety on the CBS Jumbotron screen in Times Square. Time Magazine featured NADA's special section on the future of the automobile industry. Throughout, dealers kept doing what we do best helping our customers find the best, most affordable transportation to meet their individual needs and keeping those vehicles on the road. In fact, dealers sold nearly 13 million units, more than was forecast even before the disruptions. Natural disasters, economic turmoil, proposed new regulations. Without question, 2011 was full of challenges. As always, NADA and its dealers rose to the occasion. And as the year drew to a close, there were signs of recovery on the horizon. We're reaching a point now where there's a feeling of optimism again, and that we really are moving in the right direction. Not without challenges, not without, not difficulties, but they're not insurmountable. We're going the right direction. That's what's encouraging. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome NADA Chairman Stephen Wade.